Gianfranco Viana uh, that will speak about the uh, robustness of airport space frame structure. Hello, good morning to everybody. I will share the screen. Okay. Can you see the presentation and can you hear me? Yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you um, to the organizers for uh, this web meeting and for giving me the opportunity to present this work. I'm presenting on behalf of the authors. My co-authors are um, Dr. De Biagi and Professor Chiaia from Politecnico di Torino. Um, here, okay. Um, Space truss roofs are lightweight, convenient, and economic solutions to cover large areas. Their structural efficiency uh, makes them working with low safety margins, even with respect to, to regular loading conditions. At the same time, their public function uh, requires a maintenance plan, including structural health inspections and checks for robustness against extreme events like fire, explosion, accidental failure of an element, etc. As regards the latter, loss of tension bars can happen due to bolt failure, while loss of compression bars could happen due to flexural buckling induced by overloading or differential support settlements. Here we present a robustness analysis of an airport space frame structure aiming at investigating the global response uh, to the accidental loss of a key element. It's a real existing structure, but we will keep the name confidential. A finite element model was implemented based on the original design documents. The structure was modeled as a spatial truss composed by elastic, perfectly hinged bars. With respect to five main loading conditions, the most stretched bar and the most compressed bar among the top layer, bottom layer, and the diagonals were alternatively removed and the stress variations in the remaining bars monitored. The roof has maximum plane dimensions of about uh, 86 by uh, 58 meters and presents a small curvature in the transverse, the minimum direction, the shorter, the X direction. The grid of the top and bottom layers is about uh, 3.6 by 3.6 meters with slight differences um, in the transverse direction according to the to different radii of curvature. The distance between the two, the two layers is 3.2 meters. The bars are uh, made of steel uh, S355 and uh, have a circular hollow section with eight different diameters and thicknesses. A numerical model of the roof was implemented in LUSA's finite element code. Such model reflects geometry, material and section properties, constraints and loads as specified in the original structural report and drawings. The structure was modeled, uh, as, already, um, as I already told you, uh, as a space truss made of perfectly hinged elastic bars. The model is composed by 796 uh, nodes and 3,013 bars. The roof is constrained in the vertical direction at 38 nodes, 34 of which are along the side dish, and four are in the central part. The perimeter constraints are able to react only in the upward direction, while the central, the central ones are bilateral constraints. In the horizontal direction, the structure is constrained at three of the four central supports and uh, um, so to furnish two reaction points for each of the two main directions. Referring to the structural report, the following load combinations were considered. Self-weight uh, plus permanent load plus snow, then self-weight permanent load snow plus uniform thermal variation equal to plus or minus 20 degrees on the whole structure, and then uh, self-weight permanent load snow and non-uniform thermal variation equal to plus or minus 
five degrees uh, on, only on the top layer bars. Maximum nodal force uh, applied to the top layers was equal to about 30 kilonewtons for the inner nodes and to its half for the edge nodes. Five main loading conditions were analyzed. For each main loading condition, the most stretched bar and the most compressed bar among the top layer, the bottom layer, and the diagonals, um, and the most compressed bar among the central support diagonals were alternatively removed and the stress levels in the remaining bars checked. A total of 15 analyses with removal of the most stressed bar were run. Thus, based on the results obtained, uh, the following conclusions can be drawn. In none of the analyzed cases, the removal of the most stressed bar is sufficient to, to transform the whole structure or part of it into a mechanism. Among the loading conditions exam examined, there is also always at least one case in which the removal of the most stretched or compressed element implies the overcoming of the tensile yield stress and or of the buckling load in the most stressed remaining bars. Based on this point, uh, the situation of total absent, absence sorry, of the uh, most stretched or most compressed bar is judged as not admissible since it could impair bearing capacity in at least one other element. Lastly, understanding whether or not the structure is able to withstand the previous extreme condition without collapsing would require a step-by-step -step linear analysis. Thank you for the kind of attention. Thank you, Gianfranco. Is there any question? Uh, if, if not, I have just a very quick one. Uh, you, s you told about the, uh, there's a small curvature. Yes. The roof. Uh, do you, di did you check if this very small curvature uh, has an effect in the global behavior or also in the local? That means redistributing in a way the internal forces in, in the bar? or you didn't check it? We didn't check, actually, we reproduced the same um, main analysis that were done at the design stage. But basically, I think that this minimal curvature in the transverse, the shorter direction, um, gives a sort of um, um, counter curvature. So um, a stiffness against the vertical displacements. Okay it doesn't um, induce geometrical effects in a certain sense. Okay. Even Thanks. because if you consider the horizontal constraints here, um, there are no horizontal reactions in all the four supports. As you can see here, um, in the X direction, for example, the two horizontal uh, reactions are only on the left uh, supports. The right ones um, do not react to horizontal forces. So there is not a, a compressive arch-like effect. Okay. Thank you. Thank you again.